Hey everybody, it's me Megs, and I am back for a makeup video. You guys have been requesting me to do more makeup videos, so here it is. And I am here with a super, super special video. This is the Too Faced Jackie Ina collaboration of their Born This Way foundation collaboration review. So I'm really, really excited about this collaboration because I never really looked to Too Faced as far as their foundations to get excited about because it just never really piqued my interest. I didn't really see, you know, a foundation that, you know, just was like, ooh, I gotta try that, you know. And a lot of that had to do with the color. Um, you know, the color not matching me because I did visit Too Faced Cosmetics um, headquarters probably a couple months ago and I did get a chance to you know get gifted some makeup and the foundation that I was gifted didn't quite match me it wasn't really quite there so I'm really excited that um, Jackie Ina collaborated with Too Faced to help them expand their foundation range for us chocolate sisters because we need some love too right we need some love we need to get it together so she has an expansion of nine beautiful shades here and I'm really excited about um, the one I got matched to because I did go to the event and I got matched to be Spice Rum, okay? But let's talk about this packaging, okay? So y'all, look at this. Look at my PR package. I gotta turn it this way. It is so, can y'all see? It is so beautiful. Look at that. So this is the PR package that I got. And packaging is absolutely stunning, you guys. The range is on point. There is a beautiful gradient uh, with this foundation line expansion. Like, you know how you'll see, okay, you'll see the foundation colors for, you know, the Vanilla Sisters. And you like, you see, a, you know, a gang of selections for them. But then you get to us, it's like, oh, we only got four colors. Like, that's how y'all about to do us. But with this, we starting we're starting to get more ranges there's no skips in any of the colors you know how you'll see like oh you see like a honey color and then it skips to a deep and then a dark and it's like only three to choose from and none of those are really your your tone so what i'm also noticing here is that there's a lot of different um kind of undertones because you know us chocolate sisters we don't have just one tone and a lot of times when we start to get into our shades it gets a little red a little orange and we start to look real oompa loompa because they don't get it right so i'm really excited that jackie Anna came in there and saved the day came in there and saved the day and we got some you know some foundation colors so i went to the event and i was matched to be spice run she did tell me that she thought i could be shy so we could we're gonna see we're gonna see so this is this is spiced rum and this is chai. We'll see. It's a little, a little, a slight difference, but not really. And that's what I really appreciate that you, there isn't a big jump, but there is a jump because we come in all shades and undertones. So let's go ahead and get started with this, y'all. And you know what's really cool before I get started is that, say for example, we have so many new colors to this collection too. We get darker in the summer and we get lighter in the winter. So there are colors that we can jump back and forth within this line already looking at it and can tell because I feel like I could be chai and spice rum because I'm on the darker spectrum for my little summer, you know, chocolates and um, a chai might work too. So we'll see how this works. So let's go ahead and get busy. Like always, my foundation routine, I'm going to do the same that I always do. Um, I also want to mention that she did come out with some translucent powders. She did come out with the Born This Way Translucent Deep and Born This Way Medium. So I'm really excited about these because you know we need <laughs> powder. I'm excited about this one. I'm gonna bake with this. I wanna see how this how this does how this does for me, you know, how this works for me. So um like I said, I'm going to do my regular foundation routine. Of course, I'm going to put on my wet lip balm. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really happy that they brought Jackie in because she knows what she's talking about. Okay. And, you know, to get it right and get it what tight. 
okay, when it comes to us, because we wear foundation too, we, we, we want to look good. <laughs> you know? Take my primer spray, and I'm going to prime my face. This is a Scandinavia primer spray. Let that dry. Okay, girl, so we zoomed in a bit, so I let that dry. I like to double prime, especially in the summertime, because I like to stay, you know, together and intact. So I'm going to use the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. And this is the one I'm just choosing to use because I really like this primer. Yes, we are real close and personal. <laughs> so I was uh, matched at the the event to be spiced rum. So let's see what this looks like. I really like the packaging. It's really cute. And this foundation is to be um, buildable coverage. So, okay, that's, I'm just gonna take one dot and I'm just gonna take my ring finger. I'm gonna take a little bit and see what this looks like. I always kind of match myself right here. Okay, where did I put it? <laughs> where? Where? Where did she go? Maybe Spice Rum is. Girl. She better stop playing with me. Okay, let's take Chai. Let's see what Chai's doing. Chai might be, maybe Chai might be my winter color. But it's looking like Spice Rum is it. Okay. So, this, this dot is, this is um, Spice Rum and this is Chai that I put. So, let's try Chai. Let's try this side. choke me later okay shut up tell, don't tell me that I have two foundations that I could wear out of a line and that is unheard of which one y'all think is that true I could wear two foundations out of a line girl but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with spiced rum and see how that see how that looks all over. We'll we'll see. We'll see how that looks. So this is spiced rum and this is chai. So those are the undertones. What I really like, it, it appears to be golden still, right? We're still getting that golden vibe. We're not getting any red. It doesn't look orange to me. So I'm really excited about that. Hmm. Am I in my chai or my spice rum? I'm gonna go with spice rum and just see like see what we're doing. Let's see what how that works. I am so excited because since when have I ever been able to match myself to two foundations in a collection? When? Okay, so let's go ahead and get busy. Let's go ahead and put spice rum all over. And the reason why I'm choosing spice rum is because um I feel like I'm a little darker because it's summertime. So I only put one little dot. So let's see. I'm gonna be using a Morphe M444 brush. And me personally, I don't mind if it's a little darker because my chest is dark. So I'd rather go with my chest. And I like this brush because it really buffs the foundation in. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing so far. Like, I, yeah, 
Now, does this one look a little dark? Yes and no. Some people might be like, oh, it's a tad dark. Me personally, I don't mind. I like my foundation on my face to be darker. I just do because when I highlight, it just really looks good. And girl, do you want to be caught out there in the world and taking pictures and your foundation is too light? You're looking up there like Casper the Ghost. And that's why they brought Jack in. Because... <laughs> You know, she not about to have us out here looking Caspery. Girl, what? Who? I like, I like this. This is real cute. I like the way you kiss me when we are playing a kissing game. Yes, this is kissing me all over. Kissing me the right way. And I didn't have to use a lot either. I look real natural. Look at me. Look at me. Yes. See, look at my. You know, I gotta put my head near my shoulder to make sure. I think it's a match, girl. I think it's a match. I think it's a match. This works for me. 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 This works. Mmm. Okay, so this is just one layer and this is how it looks and I really like how it looks so I'm just gonna go over the areas that I like to have a little more coverage which is which is around my mouth and just a little bit on my forehead I feel so beautiful <laughs> yeah I like this take her down here like that does my chocolate right? I feel like it looks really natural. It feels really lightweight too. I don't feel sticky. I don't feel like I have something on. I feel good. Like, this is real cute. Yeah, I like this. It feels really nice. And I like too that I'm still able to kind of see my skin through here. I like full coverage, um, but sometimes I do like the look of being able to see little imperfections in my skin. I do like that look a lot, um, but I definitely can tell that you definitely can build this up if you want to. Um, and you can go really light if you want to too. But I really like the undertone, the color. I feel like I look fairly still like myself and when I say like myself you know like sometimes when you put on foundation and it's just like who is she what it just feels like it looks like a mask on this is really natural looking I really like how this looks I feel like I look really warm too but not to the point where it's like ooh, girl you know you get what I'm saying because I've struggled with that with foundations where it might look too red or it might look really orange but this is like on point and I actually like that it looks like skin yes I like this okay so let's go ahead and highlight now I know Too Faced does have the concealers that came out but I don't think I have those I might <laughs> because I have so many packages here that I have not opened but I'm going to use my NARS um, um, concealer in walnut so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight right now
so I really like how my highlight blends in with this foundation it looks really really good what I really like with this collection is that it also kind of names the undertone so I do want to add that the foundation that I use which is spice rum it says very deep rosy so that's what I use so to contour with I'm gonna go ahead and use the darker shades from the collection and let me show you guys what the darker ones are so there's three here so the one that I'm going to use to um contour with is sable and this is sable swatch yes sable because this also is rich and rosy this is truffle which is the one of the darker shades out of the collection and this one i'm gonna mess up the name now this is the absolute darkest shade and this is called ganache granache you know I'm gonna mess it up. You get what I'm saying. So I'm really liking this color to contour with. So let's go ahead and get busy with that. So that is my contour on. I feel like it looks really nice. I really like this. I feel like it looks really natural on even though I did not set it with anything. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the medium and I am going to put a little bit underneath my eyes because you know we like that little brighter look. So let's go ahead and open her up shake her out a little bit to get it going she know we like to bake so this color is really really pretty <laughs> i'm so excited Ooh. i should definitely shook it out too much huh so i'm gonna put a little bit here It just doesn't make any sense how bomb I like this it's so fine the color is perfect it is not too bright <sighs> yes 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 tens 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 across the board I did come too far down though. <laughs> I did come a little too far down with the powder though. I came too far. I don't want it to get too big down there, but you know. I like the color. So I make sure I press underneath my eye. So yeah, even though this is a translucent powder, it does have a hint of color to it, which I really like. And I really like how it's really kind of molding into my skin already. Like you can see there's no real difference, I feel. You know, like sometimes you put on powders and it's just like, whoa, like you know when you brush that off, it's gonna look crazy. But this is like really baking me nicely. So let me go ahead and do my brows. All right, so my brows are on and let's go ahead and take deep. I'm gonna go ahead and take deep. And deep looks really rich, so I'm not sure how this is going to look on me. I want to set my whole face with this, so let's see how, let's see how this works. But I am gonna brush off 
slightly brush off my excess powder and I really like how that looks yeah that looks good okay so let's see how hopefully this doesn't <laughs> make or break it but I'm gonna put a little bit all right yeah okay yeah Alright, so this is pretty much what my face looks like right now. I'm really liking the finish of everything. Um, with the powder, I did put a little bit of my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany um, powder to kind of like, you know, uh, enhance my contour areas. But this is pretty much how it looks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face and see how it works. How my face is looking. Um, what I always do do though, I set my face before I start my um, the rest of my makeup. I just I do that like do a double setting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Scandinavia finishing spray. This is the bridal one. So I put one spray. That's one coat of this. Cause it's hot outside. And this works for me. So I put on like a really light layer. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll be back. But yeah, y'all, this is the final look with everything on. I've had the foundation on for a total of about an hour and a half, close to two hours. And I'm really liking how this is looking. I love the finish. I love the match. I feel like it looks really good. And um, I can't complain. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. The colors that I use will be down in the description. And I do want to say, Jackie, you did an amazing job with this collection. These additions were needed. And, you know, I am so happy that you came to the rescue. Okay, because it needed rescuing. And I feel rescued. So um, yeah, I'm really satisfied with the way my skin is looking. So this is a thumbs up for me. I would definitely recommend this foundation to y'all if you want to try it out. So, um, yeah, that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.